So in today's episode, we are going to take a look at how to use this uh, motor driver, which is called the L293D motor driver, that we can use to control two DC motors that works with a voltage between 5 and 35 volts. Because the Arduino board can't handle this voltage, we need to use these kind of motor drivers. Recently, we have used the L298N motor driver. You can check it out. This one is an IC circuit and it is much cheaper than the L298N motor driver. I'm going to use it to control this DC motor that works with a 9 volt battery. Of course, you're going to need an external power supply. For me, I have this 9 volt battery that I'm going to use. So I will use these two wires. We have the positive lead and the ground. To understand how this motor driver works, we have this pin now diagram. Basically, we can divide it into two sections. We have the right pins and the left one. These pins are used to control the first DC motor. And on the left side, we have these pins that we can hook them up to the other motor and control it. For example, let's focus on this side. We have these output pins, the output 1 and output 2. We need to hook them up to the DC motor. Then we can control its direction using the input pins. We have input 1 and input 2. For example, we can hook them up to the pin number 2 and 3 and use the digital write command to control the direction of the motor. Finally, to control its speed, we use the enable pin. We can hook it up to a PWM pin so that we can use the analog write command and change the voltage between 0 and 5 volts and that actually controls the speed of the DC motor and you notice that we have these two pins that are labeled VCC this one is used to power up the L293D motor driver I'm gonna connect it to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino and the GND to the GND of the Arduino you notice that we have four GND pins you could use any of these and the other VCC pin we connect it to the positive lead of the 9 volt battery or if you have another DC motor that works with 30 volts you could use it and the negative lead of the battery goes to the GND and here's the circuit schematic diagram that we're gonna use I have connected the two leads of the motor to the output pins 1 and 2 then I have connected the input number 1 to the pin number 2 and the input 2 goes to the pin number 3 of course you could use the other digital pins Basically, we're going to output a voltage that could be 0 or 5 volts so that we can change the motor's direction. As I said, to control the speed of the motor, we connected the enable pin, which is this one on top, to the digital pin number 5, and it is labeled PWM that has the squiggly sign. After that, I have connected the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to the VCC number 1 and the GND to the GND to power up the L293D motor driver. The other VCC is used to connect the external power supply that power up the motor and you have to connect the GND to one of the GND pins. Before you follow this circuit schematic diagram, you need to know the order of the pins. You will see a little uh, circle. The pin that is close to this circle is the enable one two. Then we have this order, input one, output one, until we reach the VCC number one. We have this little circle. So this is the enable pin. I highly recommend you to pause the video and follow the circuit schematic diagram. And let's start by connecting the terminals of the DC motor to the output pins. Then I'm going to connect the power supply. The positive lead goes to the VCC2 and the GND goes to the GND. Then I'm going to connect the 5 volt pin to the VCC number 1 that power up the L293D motor driver. And you have to connect the GND pin to the GND. As I said, we have four GND pins. Then I'm gonna use the pin number five to control the DC motor speed using the enable pin. I'm gonna connect the pin number two to one of the input pins and the digital pin number three goes to the other input pin. It is the second one from the side. Now we can move on to the code and try to control our DC motor. Let's start by adding the pin numbers using const int. I'm gonna call it input 1. Actually, we have connected the input number 2 to the pin number 2, not 1, but it doesn't matter. And let's add the second variable and call it input 1 equals the digital pin number 3. For the enable pin, I'm gonna use const int and let's call it enable pin equals 5. Then we have to use these pins as outputs. 
so that we can change the voltage and control our DC motor. Under the setup function, let's add pin mode. I'm gonna give it the pin numbers, input 2 and the output keyword. To save a little bit of time, I'm gonna duplicate this line of code. If this is the first time you are watching my videos about Arduino, I highly recommend you to watch my beginner course on how to use the Arduino board. And don't forget to change the name of the variables. We have input 1 and the enable pin. So by changing the voltage of these two pins, we can control the direction of the motor. For example, if we output 5 volts using the digital write command to this pin and 0 volts to the other one, the DC motor rotates in a certain direction, like clockwise. And if you reverse these, if we output 0 volts to the input number 2 and 5 volts to the second one, the motor will rotate to the opposite direction. And if we change them to the same value, like 0 volts, the DC motor stops. And that's how we can control the direction. And for the speed, we are going to use the analog write command to this pin, which takes a value between 0 and 255. So 255 is the maximum speed. So let's start by setting the DC motor speed using the analog write command. This takes the enable pin and a value between 0 and 255. Let's use uh, 150. Then we can set the direction using digital write, input 1, and let's use high. But for the second pin, I'm going to use low. And let's upload this code and check the result. Of course, you have to select the kind of board that you are using. In our case, we are not using a Node MCU32S. So I have to change this to Arduino Uno. So this will give us an error. And let's hit upload again. And there you go, our DC motor is rotating clockwise. Let's try to adjust the speed, like 60. So this value can't rotate the DC motor. Let's try with 70. Let's give it a little bit of help. And yep, it rotates clockwise. Let's try to reverse these. I'm gonna use low for the input one and high for the second input and use 75. And now it is counterclockwise. Now let's change these to low and hit upload again. The DC motor stops. Let's use the maximum speed, which is 255, and change this to high. Now we have this little fan. I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to put it under the comment section down below. In the next videos we are going to make some robot cars by controlling two DC motors using the L293D motor driver. That's why don't forget to hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And they will see you in the next one.